All right, everyone, I'm gonna be honest here. My Hero Academia Chapter 419 has completely blown my mind. Now, whether or not that's a good thing or not is up for debate, but one thing's for sure, this is definitely a change in case, a change in trajectory, a completely unexpected and unorthodox twist of bringing back a villain, not once, not twice, but three times because All For One has risen from inside of Shigaraki and for the one time, one time, pause. Yo everybody, it's your boy King of Chaos here to bring you My Hero Academia Chapter 419. If you love My Hero Academia, be sure to smash that like button and look out for that chaos code word of the day. We're gonna confuse everyone in the comment section. We open up the chapter with a beautiful spread, I gotta say, of All For One inside of the internalized world of Shigaraki. And he's speaking, talking to Deku, Midoriya. Look at what you've done to my one for all and dear Yoichi. But it's all thanks to your efforts of changing Tenko's unconscious mind that I've once again regained control. My foolish Shimuro Tenko, no more than a super ego. You cling to the pathetic strands of your so-called life, too afraid to pass on. How dare you bite the hand that feeds you? Dang, straight heat from all for one here. I'm not gonna lie. Now, I've got some thoughts on this that I'll be sharing towards the end of the chapter review as far as his place returning and what that really means here, but you gotta say one thing. When All For One shows up, you really do feel that semblance of tear, that semblance of heat. And it goes to show that uh, in the beginning, when we mentioned all the times that Shigaraki still had All For One inside of him, uh, the little vestige within him, he had just suppressed it to the point where his personality or he thought to be his was taking over. But we learn here that that was not the case. Shigaraki speaking out to All For One, master, what do you mean? I don't understand a thing. I already told you, none of your decisions ever belong to you. And this is where we get the part where All For One completely mind like screws Shigaraki. And, and, and this is crazy. Shigaraki goes on to state that, but I chose to do this. And he says, if I didn't let you think so, you could never attain the necessary willpower. It was essential to travel backwards from free will, which means he's starting him off with free will and then working it backwards into complete and utter domination. It was my two encounters with Lariat and Gaian that taught me in order to secure one for all, I needed to surpass their willpower. While being hounded by All Might, I searched for a soul that would whittle his willpower away. Then all I had to do was nurture that seed of hatred within it by suppressing the ID, the most powerful emotion. I cultivated your most primitive desires. And then we get back to that memory that Shigaraki and Deku had shared, where it looked like Shigaraki's dad was talking to someone. And he says, I have no doubt about it. Nowadays, heroes won't come to help you, especially when you need them the most. We need a family that looks out for each other. This ideology of heroes not caring about people, it had to come from somewhere. And All For One's letting us know what's going on, that he was the one who planted, watered, and cultivated those seeds. Speaking of, that's the chaos code word for the day, seed. If you <laughs> drop down in the comment section, seed, and uh, no context, and let's just see, you know, let's confuse everyone else who doesn't know about it. Back to the review. All for One then goes on to states that I, their daughter was too well nurtured. I did everything I could to avoid a drawing attention to myself. All I had to do was give one last push. I stole the quirk factor you inherited from your parents before it could appear. I amplified my control, gave you an ambition. Then I waited for the right moment. We're seeing these flashbacks of, of Shigaraki's life, all these different moments, even of him touching him as early as a boy. It just goes to show all for one's influence, his ideology, finding people that agree with him, knowing that he could utilize Nana's son as someone to capitalize on. Like that's just, that's some pretty high IQ, third dimensional thinking here, y'all. We gotta give praise to him. And then the truth. All for one selected a specific quirk from the doctor's facility stripped the regeneration aspect of it until nothing but destruction remained, which means Shigaraki's quirk was something completely different. However, it wasn't even his quirk to begin with because he bestowed this crude copy of what he extracted and took apart. This quirk apparently could have had the aspects of regeneration and destruction, a super powerful quirk but he only stripped it away and distilled it until it was nothing but destruction. So the only thing he could do was hurt people. And then he gave Shigaraki that. That is evil. Like that's pure evil, y'all. And then he just goes on to continue mocking him. This is giving off huge Sukuna and Mahito vibes when they were mocking Yuji in season one. Even Shigaraki started to notice. He's like, he's huffing, he's hypervillain. He's saying, huh, huh, wait, so, and he's like, that's exactly right. And we see 
all for one with a Kool-Aid smile. A Kool-Aid smile, we hate that. He says, all of your tragedies, tribulations, everything you rejected or accepted, it was all from me, everything. My heart won't waver, you said. Know your place, bootlicker. Damn, y'all, we gotta, one sec, I gotta, we gotta hit this. <coughs> Sorry, that, that Shigaraki pack, it's hitting really strong right now. Dang, that is brutal. I can't believe, man, Shigaraki, if this is the case, Shigaraki's taking a huge L. Wow, back to the chapter view. I will give my thoughts to this at the very end for those of you who wanna know, cause I got a lot to hit off my chest. All for one continues on. I'll kill his soul and delete him. I plan to use this card after stealing one for all, but now's the time. Vanish from my body all for one. What? We get a huge explosion and all of a sudden, Yoichi's gone, a vestige says. And as he's walking out, my medium term plan failed. And then we get Shigaraki, but it's not Shigaraki, a lingering memory. Cause we hear someone yelling, ah. And then the, the hand appearing on his face, he says silence. It seems the psychological damages reflected on this body. Decay, the anger, the hatred, they're all gone. Did he die? Along with the vessel I secured so painstakingly for years and my little brother too. Nothing left to do but move on to the next stage. All for one, we hear Deku say. Now begins the terribly empty and pointless final goal, world domination. And Deku's saying, I won't let you. And he's collapsed and we get the most, wow. I mean, this has been foreshadowed for the longest time, but we get a panel that breaks our hearts. Deku's arms are gone, y'all. Dang, that Shigaraki pack. But that Deku pack's gone too. <laughs> and all he says is so. Both of our bodies have been damaged. And Deku's just like, ah, crying out in pain. And he's remembering all the times people lifted him up when he was by himself. All the times he's, he's had to struggle and he says, not yet. I don't care what's happening, it's not over. And then he tells them, people become stronger in proportion to their losses. I plan on establishing that narrative. This is the inevitable outcome for someone who never had anything to lose to begin with. So he's saying Deku was worse than nothing. Cause shit, you know, he lost everything. But Deku had nothing to lose to begin with because he was just given everything. I don't know, that's kind of messed up. But he might be spitting facts. However, Seku, he pulls up and wraps around Alfaragi. Ulfer, that's what I'll call him, Alfaragi. And he's like, and then <laughs> you just mentioned, so weak. I was too focused on Midoriya to even notice him. He's like, Midoriya, we're here to save you. And then we got Tail Man and Sugar Boy with a tornado tail dance and sugar rush combo. Notice that their, their masks are ripped. They got a little blood in their face. They're all tired. You know, the sugar knuckle <laughs> barrage. So Sero, Ojiro, and Saito, they're all here to pull up to help them, but not just them. This is a PTA meeting. Where there comes the student, comes their teacher. We get someone behind Deku saying, Midoriya, sorry to keep you waiting. And there we go. Mr. Izawa's back into the mix. He ain't afraid of no smoke. Hope emerges from the work gate in the chapter. All right, so we gotta talk about two things. One, does all for one returning take away everything Deku, sorry, Bakugo and All Might were doing to him? Kind of, because it basically says to me, him coming back means that one Shigaraki's character wasn't authentic to himself um, because we thought, you know, Shigaraki was just this person operating his own free will, you know, breaking the usual narrative. And I was actually enjoying his character a lot. We also have Bakugo getting, securing that win. You know, he didn't beat Shigaraki, but he beat All for One, a weakened All for One, but it would have made sense. All Might fighting, if any of those people, you know, All Might settling his beef, if any of those people had beaten him, it would have been all for naught because he still came back. Now, I will say I was wrong about, you know, Shigaraki offing himself or Deku and him ending this in the power of friendship, but maybe that's still, you know, it's still possible. Maybe he's still somewhere internally inside of his soul. Who knows? If anything, I mean, I didn't see this coming. That being said, I feel like him returning kind of diminishes the whole point of their battles. If Bakugo and All Might and, you know, all these other people had beaten him, it wouldn't even have mattered. And if a character can be brought back from that, I mean, like, it just feels like the, the bear is on the ground there a little bit. Who knows? But I can definitely see a world where we got more people from Class 1A coming in to pull up and helping Deku. Anyways, that's going to do it for the chapter review. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all sticking through the end. And be sure to check out the video next on the screen that YouTube's recommending because it thinks you should watch it. And so do I.